Thank you very much. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, it's now been nine days since, uh, since the march in the front of the parliament and right across the nation. And nearly every day we have seen more and more issues come to the fore. And yesterday was a real missed opportunity and Zali will talk uh, to her motion. Um, but I can just say this, you know, we actually have no legislative agenda here in this place. The whole day was spent doing appropriations. And when the government does appropriations, it means there's nothing else to do. We have one really important thing to do here, first and foremost, and that's to get Zali's bill through the parliament so that people in this place, so that judges are not above the law. It's as simple as that. And I call on the government to bring it on for debate today. Zali? Thanks, Rebecca. With respect to the Prime Minister, the fact that you love your family and that they're at the centre of your life is not the point. You are the Prime Minister of this country, you own government, and you have the opportunity to make a difference to the millions of lives of women and men who are calling out for you to do that. So please listen and act. We don't want to hear, but really I'm a good bloke, I've been busy, we want to hear that you are going to do something. And that can start by setting the agenda, put legislation on, debate the bill to amend the Sex Discrimination Act, debate the member for Indi's bill to introduce professional standards in this place. Do something. I'm the third voice here this morning saying this as well. Um, there is nothing going on in the House in terms of legislation that actually makes a distinct change to what we have been talking about for nine days and in fact <laughs> decades and that is fundamental disrespect for women, fundamental uh, problems with safety, violence against women. The Prime Minister could step into the House this morning and say colleagues today we are going to vote we are going to dis debate the sex discrimination bill today we are going to debate the commonwealth standards uh, parliamentary standards bill today i am announcing uh, that all 55 recommendations of the respective work are going to be implemented by this government but the prime minister chooses not to do that he chooses not to do anything at all actually about the most glaring problem that the nation is demanding him to act on. It's not only disappointing, it's really poor leadership. It could change if the Prime Minister chose to do so. I call upon him to do something about it. He has three things at his fingertips right now. Zali's bill, the Commonwealth Standards Parliamentary Bill and uh, Respect at Work. Get on with it. Did you believe the Prime Minister yesterday when he said he's listening to women who acknowledges the intergenerational crap that we've been putting up with? And did you expect him to come to that press conference with announcements rather than this shifting record? Oh, I'll take that one. No, I did not. Well, I think the proof is in the pudding. Can we look at in the Prime Minister's advisor, in his close circle, how many women are in his close circle in that office advising him? I suspect there's a lot of blue suits in that office and I don't think any of them get it. And that probably explains why for the last month he hasn't been getting it either. We actually, he, they need to listen. Put a senior woman executive in your close cabinet advising you on what needs to be done. If you want, if you want to be um, conveying to the women of Australia that you are hearing them, make sure you are listening to them. Put someone in your close circle to advise you on these issues. Mm. Do you think that speech was heartfelt? Look, I, I'm sure it was half it, but the problem is, is it's all just words and what we need is action. I mean, it's as simple as that. It's, it's been a month now um, since Brittany Higgins um, had the courage to come forward and not one thing has changed in this place. In fact, we've got more and more things happening, more and more allegations coming out and yet it's just words and it's, and it's heartfelt, I'm sure, but it's not action and that's what we're... That's what we're calling for. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Open on the 